Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. I had no plans to make this video actually, but uh, apparently <laughs> Big Bad Toy Store, from which I had ordered a few figures back in mid-December, even earlier than that, they sent me, finally, this package. So uh, it's, uh, it's pretty unexpected and uh, I had lost all hope that this would arrive, but uh, lo and behold, here it is. So uh, <laughs> I guess it's, uh, it's another unboxing video, so uh, that's pretty cool, right? So I guess I'm, I'm just uh, gonna get started and uh, let's crack it open. One of my most anticipated ones. Okay, let's uh, proceed. Yeah, there we go. So here it is. Yeah, the, here here has been damaged, unfortunately. But uh, uh, hopefully the uh, figure hasn't been affected by that. So yeah, we got Ankylosaurus Magniventris Warpig, the plain color, which was. Which I'm very happy to have finally received because this had become very rare and uh, since this figure had been released last year, very few of them were available to this day. So Next we have the Cerberus clan, which are the Deinonychus Enteropus trio. So this would mean that the next thing I have to get is the Cernian Hind, which is this one, in order to complete the whole thing along with my Hercules Acrocanthosaurus. So yeah, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I mean, it finally arrived. So it basically took more than three months for this to arrive, and I had lost all hope that it would, but uh, thankfully it did. And there we go. It's um. Big Bad Toy Store that shipped me this and they were the only store online that I could find the most trustworthy store that uh, I could order from the plain version of the Ankylosaurus and I think that was their very last one that I ordered and I don't think they, were, uh, they had any more stock left after that so <laughs> yeah, I got pretty lucky on those terms didn't I? So yeah, box out of the way and what we will do next is unbox these two babies, all right? Well, actually, that's uh, that would be four, <laughs> four of them, right? So, all right, uh, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and open these guys first. Um, it's very, very light. These guys, I think, would be very, very small. Uh, well, I mean, most of Rebor's uh, figures, uh, I mean, unless if you're not taking into account the um, grab and go line which is yet to be released of course uh, most of their figures are in scale with each other and uh, yeah, all right here we go we got a, we got a beautiful card and yes the, there we have it so it's supposed to be these three the next piece that has to be acquired is the Cernian hind for me which is the Tanontosaurus and uh, of course when it comes to Hercules and the head of the Tanontosaurus I do have that Huh, so, and it comes along with the uh, Deinonychus Antoropus card. This uh, is the scale chart. The first fossilized remains were uncovered thanks to a Tenontosaurus. Yeah, there we go, skeleton 931 in southern Montana near the town of Billings, North America, by American paleontologist Barnum Brown, of course, yeah. And was later named Deinonychus by American paleontologist John Ostrom, yeah, who also, I think, named Utah Raptor, of course, because it is supposed to be Utah Raptor Ostromysorum. So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get those guys out. There we go. Let's see. Ooh, very cool. <laughs> very, very nicely packaged. And all three, all three of them have different color schemes. That is beautiful. Oh, okay, these, uh, these are the bases. Let's start from the middle. Very nice. Oh, okay, so the arms have to be attached. Interesting. 
thing. Okay. Okay, so these are... Wow. Very, uh, rubbery. So, uh, yeah, it does. Oh, wow, okay, this is... I did not expect this kind of articulation, actually. These are pretty small, and, uh, yeah, the jaw, it seems kind of weak. I would suggest, uh, well, if you have these, to be careful with those. And it seems to be lacking pupils. I think, uh, since they're so small, they didn't want to ruin it in any way, so... That's why they avoided painting the pupils, I guess. Let's, uh, pop this in. To the socket. Okay, so the arms touch a little bit, so I'm gonna have to adjust it. Yeah, there it is. I think that's better. Yeah, so that is one. Does it stand? Yeah, it stands. Yeah. There are some small areas here that you can find where it will pose accordingly. Yeah, I mean, it stands. You, you still have to be pretty careful since, since they're very light. For example, try to wipe off the dust from the shelves. I would suggest putting these aside and then doing it, of course. But uh, when it comes to statues or things like that, you can get away with that, but not with these, that's for sure. Alright, so let's get this off. So this is uh, something that prevents it from warping, which is always a good idea. It's actually very nicely painted. For a figure of this minuscule... There. So, for a figure of this size, I mean, this is some... Fantastic paintwork on the teeth. Yeah, pretty cool. Alright, the arm is attached on this one, so we don't need to do that for this guy. So each each of these guys have names. This one's called Tooth. Um, I better check out the other one as well. Um, so this guy stay. Uh, this one does have balancing issues, so um, I'm gonna have to the arms forward and uh, just have it stand like this for now until I figure out what to do next. Let me try that again. Okay, it stood this time. Okay, let's uh, put you next to this guy. Don't fall. Okay, there we go. Okay, these two are ready and the final one. This is probably my favorite one. The uh, paint job is pretty nice on this one. Yeah, pretty cool. So, what are you called? Let's check. Get this off. Thrill! Oh, there you go, see? Even just a little bit of vibration on the surface and it falls over. Yeah, it's extremely light. <laughs> That's its main uh, inconvenience, but uh, yeah, it's, wow, this is from 2016, wow, then, I'm very happy to have these, finally. Um, okay, yeah, this guy stands perfectly fine. Can we twist its head like this? Oh, nice. Yeah, hopefully it don't break it. There we go. Very nice, look at that. That's a very awesome Deinonychus, if you ask me. The detailing on the feathers is exquisite, I have to say, for a figure of this size. And it makes for an extremely entertaining diorama when you pose it with the other figures and um, when you include it in the same base. It's, uh, it's wonderful. I mean, Rebor really have thought this through pretty well. It's very nice. There you have it. So these three are ready. Let's take a closer look at them. So, to do a overall recap on these figures, I'll start off by saying that uh, my impression is mostly positive, and here's why. The figure itself, the sculpt, is very cool. I love the fact that they went with a material that allows you to bend certain parts of the figure. It's a shame that the feet don't give you that option, but it's still manageable. I love that the head bends and also the tail. Uh, I love that there is articulation on the arms. The main issue is the balancing. 
but you can definitely pose the tail and the head in a way that gives you enough balance to go around. So, of course, without the base it's very difficult because on the base you have certain bumps on the surface that allow you to pose the digits in a way that allows it to stand. So the base is essential for you to succeed in having it stand. The paint job overall is pretty great. They haven't gone with two flashy colors, which I like. I love the striping on the back. I really like the fact that they didn't add any pupils. It gives it a more unique look. Overall, when it comes to Rebor, what I tremendously appreciate about their products is that they try to create figures that will complement each other very well. Overall, very good. I'm happy with it. Alright, so now this one I am extremely excited about. Yeah. Much heavier, as you would presume. Okay, yeah, this uh, card has been quite damaged because of the uh, pressure on the spikes. I guess it's uh, pretty much uh, useless at this point. Yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, alright then. I guess that's out of the way. Yeah, main attraction. That's for sure. Wow. Yeah, this is something else. Now, this is pretty epic. Wow, I'm so happy I got this. I finally have this. So, so happy. Wow. Would you look at that? Whoa, it's, it is pretty heavy. Damn. That is spectacular. There we go, so uh, same as the um, Vanilla Rex that I got very recently, this has the same kind of tail, and wow, look at that, I mean, as you can see we have uh, small holes underneath the tail, which uh, allow it to have a form of circulation inside, and it lets you bend it and yeah this is pretty much as far as I can bend it I don't want to ruin it in any way but uh, it does have quite a range I would say so uh, yeah let's check it out on the figure itself so let's pop it in a little bit more to it mm -hmm. there you have it absolute badass Wow, that is something, I'm telling you. I mean, this is definitely not an accurate Ankylosaurus by any means, but it looks pretty impressive and very imposing. Also intimidating. Quite fantastic, if I had to say so myself. This is most probably the best Ankylosaurus figure I own right now. Definitely. I mean, the detailing is astonishing. The sculpt, terrific. Although, of course, not an accurate representation of the animal, but uh, still, I mean, it's a very, very impressive model. The pose is terrific. The articulated tail is a fantastic addition. It works like a charm. I mean, it's, it's terrific. Beautiful, just beautiful. And of course the paint scheme, I mean there are three variants of this. This is the plain version and I definitely wanted to get this one because this this one was the most unique and also it had, it reminded me of a toy that I had. It was very rubbery. I think it was supposed to be an Ankylosaurus and uh, it was one of my favorite toys as a kid and I don't think I'll be able to find it right now because uh, I have no idea who made it, uh, who was the manufacturer or anything like that. But uh, the color scheme really reminded me of that and um, it's, uh, it's very reminiscent of that toy. So I really wanted to get this version Particularly. Uh, 
just terrific. I mean, the head here with these bumps, it's wonderful. And of course, the uh, osteoderms on the back, quite terrific that it's got gloss on it as well. Well, it shines. And the detailing here on the back, just wonderful. The variations of the scales, just mind blowing. So, to sum it up, this is an absolutely fantastic figure. The detailing is brilliant, as it always is when it comes to Rebor. Something that I truly value here is how the difference of materials doesn't seem to get in the way. And the tail just blends absolutely perfectly with the rest of the figure. Now, itself, the figure doesn't represent the animal as we know today. There would be many differences of features if we compare to restorations of today. But when it comes to Rebor, you know what you're getting. And this is a very classic looking Ankylosaurus and I absolutely love it. Paint job is brilliant and as I said it reminded me of a small rubber toy that I had as a child and gave me very nostalgic vibes. All in all, it is a fantastic figure. I'm really proud to own this piece. Well, what can I say? I'm uh, once again very much pleased with these two new additions to my collection. And one thing's for certain, since their founding, Rebor have become one of the biggest companies out there in this very saturated market of dinosaur and prehistoric wildlife figures. While they do not seem to present themselves as a company that strives for scientifically accurately reconstructed figures, they still manage to produce products that are very much aesthetically pleasing to the eye. All of their figures give the impression that truly talented individuals have been working on them and the level of detail, the exquisite paint jobs, all are very much key factors in showing that. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in and apologies for <laughs> uploading a figure review video this late. Uh, well, I'm pretty busy with commissions most of the time, so I really do my best to try and find the time to create these videos as I very much enjoy doing them. Be sure to stick around for more. I have more figure review videos planned and I'm waiting for another package to arrive. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.